Have you ever thought to yourself, hmm, I want to be a lash technician? I completely changed careers from working in radio to becoming a lash technician and I earn over a thousand pounds a week. And I only work three days a week. In this video, I'm going to show you the five steps that I took from leaving my job in radio to running a successful lash business, an award-winning successful lash business as well. You can do it too. Stick with me and I'm going to show you how. Now for all of your lash business, technical tips and advice, make sure you subscribe to the channel. My mission is to share what I've learned with you so we can all have the success we deserve, the financial freedom it brings and the lifestyle it brings. I just want you to be successful. So quick bit about me. I'm Rebecca, by the way. It's so nice to meet you. I run an award-winning lash salon and I also have the Lash Wholesaler, which is a manufacturer of premium lash products. But let's get back to the step. Step one, I learned how to do lashes properly. Now, when I say properly, I mean healthily and safely so it's not going to cause any damage to any of your clients' eyes. I've made you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to do lashes properly and I'll also put the link down below. So, once I'd learnt the basics of how to do lashes, I practice on models in my spare time. Now, I had a full-time job in radio, which was a completely different career, but I was thinking that I wanted to start doing lashes, so it's a good idea to find somewhere to work part-time doing lashes so you can, one, make sure you actually really enjoy doing lashes as a job, and two, pick up valuable lash skills and experience. The good thing about going to work somewhere else is you can build all this knowledge while still getting paid for it. Another good thing is you can see how these lash businesses work and then you can learn what you would do in your lash salon or what you wouldn't do in your lash business. So step number two, I found a place to start doing my lashes one day a week. So I left the salon where I was working on a Saturday and found a beauty room that I could rent on a Saturday. So my top tip is that I negotiated, instead of paying a monthly rent fee, I said to her, can I pay you 20% of every client that I do? And that way I never had to pay any money unless I'd earned money. To start building up clientele, I put posters all around the salon and all the girls that worked at the salon, I did their lashes for hardly anything and I gave them the best customer service. So they were like free walking advertisements for me. They loved the work that I did and then they were raving about my customer service. At that time I was only doing classic lashes and I was charging £40 for a full set which would take me two hours to do and for an hour's infill I was charging £20. So making £20 an hour which is pretty good when you're starting out. After three months I started having regulars so I started doing a couple evenings as well at the salon. So I would do Saturday all day and I'd do two hours late night on a Thursday and two hours late night on a Friday. That would make me an extra £80 just in those four hours alone. Step number three, I then went and found another room which I could rent on a three day basis. So I've gone from one day a week to three days a week. It cost me £200 a month, but I didn't mind as I could make that on a really good Saturday. I had to leave the salon I was at before because they started seeing how well I was doing with lashes and then all of a sudden they started doing lashes and they were poaching my clients. But you know what? It was a really good thing as it made me progress and it made me move on. So at the space where I was renting a room for three days a week, I met another technician who I was sharing that room with and she was doing waxing. And we figured if we put both of our money together that we were paying, we could rent an even bigger space and have a room each for the whole week. So top tip, it's good to find someone in a similar business who you can rent a space with when you next want to progress. It's brilliant because you can get crossover clients from them and you've got someone to share the financial responsibility of the rent so it's not all coming down to you and your business. Now step four. This is when I left my job in radio and decided to do lashes full time. I was renting a new space with Emma, the lady that did the waxing, and it was a beautiful spot. It had three rooms. I had my own room for the week. She had her own room and we had a really nice reception area. Now I had enough clients, lash clients, to fill about two or three days a week, but the rest of the week I was there twiddling my thumbs. So I needed to make some money. 
I went and worked at another lash salon and that was really great because I had that nice steady income coming in and I didn't need to worry and all the time I was just getting better and better and better at lashes. So I know a lot of you are wondering, when can I leave this other job that I'm working at and just do my lashes in my business full time? Well, I'm telling you, there'll be a tipping point where you know that you're making more money doing your lashes than if you would be going somewhere else or you have the courage and conviction I think that's the right word, conviction. Uh, You have the courage and the determination that if you go into your salon full time, you're going to make it a success and you're going to make that other money on those other days. So step number five, working at your salon full time and watching the money come in. Now, bonus tip round, how to turn a lash business into an award winning lash business. The most important tip I can ever give you for you to help build your business is customer service. You don't need to be the best lash technician to be successful. Oh my goodness, in the beginning my lashes really weren't that good. But I was kind, I worked really hard and I charged fairly what I was worth. Good customer service is the difference between someone coming back to your salon and someone going to the other salon down the road. Treat your clients with love, care and respect. Offer them a drink, create a beautiful space for them to get their lashes in. Talk to them, be friendly, remember the things they tell you so when they come back to you next time, you can ask them kindly, how did that go? How was your holiday? How was your boyfriend? I mean, you don't have to talk to every client, but being kind, courteous, remembering things, it makes people feel special. And you can do this whether you're renting a room off someone, whether you're in a basement or you're in a fancy salon uptown. It's good to be professional, be friendly, and really listen to your clients. What a 25 year old who's going to Ibiza wants is gonna be very different to what a 40 year old lawyer who wants lashes for every day wants. All of this equals excellent customer service. An amazing customer service gets you amazing reviews. And amazing reviews get you new clients and new clients tell their sisters, tell their mums, tell their best friends, tell their housemates, tell that girl that they work with. And I'm telling you, your clientele will grow. Five years down the line from when I first started, I now charge between 50 to 60 pounds per hour for my time. And I only work three days a week and the rest of the time I'm mum to my beautiful baby son. Also, at the moment, we're currently completely renovating a half a million pounds house that I just moved into. So stick with me. I'm going to show you how I'm going to help you build the best lash business and get the life you deserve. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like, put a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear if there's anything you'd like me to make a video on. That's it from me. So great to see you. I can't wait till next time. Bye.